people talk about they don't have time to do certain things. I always felt like, where does the time go after I would get off of work? I also want time to relax. Doing this helped me figure out I could get every single thing I need to get done around the house, relaxation, productivity, which is like working on my goals, being creative. I was able to figure out how to make the most of my day and not get overwhelmed by just... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just want to start with like, oh man, I feel so freaking ashamed because I've been really falling off and I've been allowing myself to just continuously fall off. And it's about time I get back to my productive self and getting back to just trying to get into a routine or just trying to get back on track with everything that I set out to do. So I'm just like so freaking ashamed because I just feel like, what happened? I turned 25 and then I literally feel like I took like five steps backwards. <laughs> so what I've been coming to conclusion and realizing is what I lack the most and what most people lack nowadays, and this is literally the only thing that is preventing us from being successful with whatever we wanna do is consistency. That is the number one key to being successful is just consistency. And when you think about it, if you be consistent with the actions that you need to take to reach every single goal you're trying to achieve, you will get there. We will make it. And I've really been struggling, but it's okay. I just had to figure out a way to try to get back on track and relax, taking everything that has been keeping me where I am and why I'm feeling so lazy and feel like I really just want to relax. Keep all of that in mind while I get back on track. And I'm trying to get longevity out of this. So that's the reason why I'm trying to figure out what do I need to do and what do I need to implement into my schedule that will keep me doing this for a long time. So with that being said, it kind of started with, um, so I did a seven day water fast, y'all. So, so excited and I'm so freaking proud of myself. Like, oh my God, I really went seven days without eating food. <laughs> I love food. Like today is all about eating because I'm making today my last day to just eat whatever I want and yeah, I love to eat, but I was so freaking proud of myself, y'all. Seven days without eating. Let that just sink in. Anywho, so I did a seven-day water fast to get spiritually closer to God. And I also love the added benefits of what it does to my body. You can lose some weight. And I wanted to look a certain way for my birthday. So the result of my fast, when it came to re-eating, I'm supposed to reintroduce food very slowly and I was just supposed to drink liquids for like the first three days. So I made this bone broth. I bought a slow cooker or a pressure cooker, whatever you guys want to call it. I brought everything I needed for this bone broth, went and got some bones. Like I, I did it. It had the house smelling good for like three days, two days I was cooking it, whatever. But it was smelling so good. When it came time to finally eat and I ate my bone broth, it was disgusting. I don't, and I made the recipe instead of like buying it with all the processed stuff, I felt like it would've been better for my digestive system. But that bone broth was disgusting. So I threw it away. And you know what I ended up doing for my first day? I reintroduced every single food group to my diet, in very small portions. <sighs> yeah, so I, I did consume dairy day one. I consumed meat day one carbs sugar i did it all grains whatever i did it all and it was weird the way my body was feeling but fast forward that's how i ended up reintroducing food so by day three i was literally back to normal just eating whatever i wanted to all right so i lost 12 pounds 
Y'all, like I could see it in my face and my stomach looked amazing. I'm gonna insert some pictures. Oh, I look so freaking good. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so yeah, I did that. And the crazy thing about it is, it's like, I did this mid-October, I believe. And the things that were coming up, right? So me and my boyfriend, we went to the Scarewinds, which is the Halloween themed version of our amusement park. How can I not eat the amusement park food, you know? Like I have funnel cake, I had a milkshake, I had like all these things that come with going to an amusement park. Like how can I not, you know? So I ate that stuff. My cousin also had a Halloween party coming up, so I ate stuff from there too, which was all junk. And then my birthday was coming up because the way it was supposed to be is for the rest of the year, I was going to have significant days where I allowed myself to cheat and it was just for significant days. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I have to cut that out because I realized it just doesn't work for me. Having specific days where or at least rethink or reprocess how I handle it because saving specific days for eating, it just wasn't working. But anywho, then my birthday was coming up. So on November the 7th, I wanted to make sure I got freebies and like nothing but free food. Like that entire day was just about eating and maybe doing some stuff to enjoy my birthday, but it was about eating, right? So after my birthday, I have leftover food. I have like a lot of leftover food. So all of this bad eating continued for about three days. And here we are now. And I did my nails and I feel like I used that as part of an excuse of why I wasn't doing stuff because I didn't want to break a nail. But like I did all of this stuff and I legit fell off on my schedule. I stopped going to the gym. I stopped cleaning like my room looked a mess the kitchen looked a mess like I, I just stopped cleaning I stopped doing everything I was doing and I don't I was about to say I don't know what came over me but eventually I just kind of told myself like everybody talks about how they worked really really hard to get to where they need to be consistency like ropes in to the reason why they are working so hard because every single day that they wake up they're doing all the things that they need to do to reach the goals that they're trying to achieve because i wasn't doing that and i was doing busy work instead i didn't feel like i wanted to share like my time with being productive and getting things done for myself. Like I was doing so much, like there was this one week where I was leaving the house every single day. I was waking up at 6 a.m. cause I just started a new job. Waking up at 6 a.m., leaving the house right after work and not coming back home until like 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the night. And I was starting to feel really overstimulated, like beyond anything I have ever felt before. I was feeling like I need a break. And I fell off the hill after that. But again, just watching other people talk about like working hard, I had to realize like Shade, this really is a part of life. Despite whatever you did the day before, you have a new day and you're just gonna have to figure it out. You're just gonna have to figure it out. Like it is what it is. Okay, you, you rested even if you felt like you didn't have a whole day to rest. To be honest, that doesn't really happen that often. People have busy schedules. If you want to make it to where you want to be, you're going to have a busy schedule. So I decided that, okay, I just need to get it together. So this is kind of some of the things that I did to get it together. And this is also um, with watching other people's videos and figuring out what works for people and just, you know, picking from different creators what works for them. So we're going to give this a try. And the point of all of this is, you know, I'm not one of those YouTubers that got all together yet. And I'm gearing my audience towards people like me who struggle with inconsistency but got like big dreams or like big goals they want to achieve. I feel like once I get it figured out, I'll be able to help other people like me figure it out. So one thing, and this is from, I'm gonna try to insert the video 
down in the description of why I did this. And I wish I took the before picture. I'm so sorry, but I could insert some after pictures. So this is from Chrissy. I think her last name is Sila. I love her channel. And she said, so this is about um, like losing weight right now. All right, so y'all all now wanna lose weight because I don't know if you can tell, but I've like gained even fat in my face. So with losing weight, of course, I'm gonna be going back to the gym four days out the week. I am finally going to try meal prepping. I think meal prepping will be very beneficial because I don't like to cook that often. I don't like to wash dishes that often. And because I don't like to cook often, I found myself wanting to like go and get fast food. If I meal prep, that defeats the purpose, you know, of having to worry about what am I gonna eat next? So I'm gonna try meal prepping. And something that she does before she meal preps is she cleans out her fridge and her freezer. And I think she also maybe mentioned like her pantry. I, this, and my, it was, it was a mess. I decided to clean out my fridge, my fridge and my freezer and my pantry. And I'm so glad that I did. Like it looks amazing and really, all and truly the point to all of this is like if you're gonna try to get into a new routine sometimes it helps if you change up your surroundings or do a big deep clean so everything seems organized if you're trying to get more organized yourself you don't need to be living around chaos you don't need to be living in clutter you need to clear up everything and minimize everything so you can get yourself in the mindset and also your environment in a like in a place where you feel relaxed, calm, and organized. So when I did that, I was able to write down the things that I actually need from my grocery list. I'm no longer buying things that I already have in the house because I didn't clean out my fridge. Like I have like seven of the same thing, not realizing like Shetty don't have to keep picking this up. Like, but it's going to help me with meal prepping. It's also gonna save me money on groceries because again, I'm only picking up certain things that I don't already have. But again, it will help me lose weight. So that's one thing. Um, I hope I gave you guys enough information there, but like that's one thing is continue to go to the gym and meal prepping because it's all about what you eat. My entire weight loss journey because I am someone that was able to, shoot, let me like jump to the beginning real quick. I eat whatever I wanted. Like, I love sugar. That is my guilty pleasure. That is my weakness. I love sugar. I've loved sugar my entire life. My entire life, I've also been overweight. But being overweight, I finally got to a spot where, because I would, I would do this a lot too, but I finally got to a place where I was able to lose a lot of weight and keep it off for maybe a year. I don't know. But once I started eating whatever I used to, that's when I gained the weight and now I feel like I can't really get it off and keep it off. So something you guys have to realize about that is it's all about what you eat. So meal prepping will help you narrow down what you're eating on a regular. I still got something big for y'all. All right, so I got that taken care of, right? So losing weight, getting back on track with that. Acting, singing, and dancing being more consistent with these three things and figuring out how to implement it in my schedule to work on each and every single one every day. So that's two, um, being closer to God, three, clearing up my skin, growing my hair long and natural, four, blah, 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 right? All right, so all of these things I've gotten taken care of and the way I was able to figure it out because this is also coming from Chrissy, is time everything. We need to take this back to when we were kids. We're all used to a time schedule. People talk about they don't have time to do certain things. I always felt like, where does the time go after I would get off of work? I also want time to relax. Doing this helped me figure out I could get every single thing I need to get done around the house, relaxation, productivity which is like working on my goals being creative i was able to figure out how to make the most of my day and not get overwhelmed by just timing everything coming from her sometimes you really have to listen to other people because people give you gems y'all it's like it's things that you have never you've heard of but you don't really think to quite understand what 
like this knowledge that they're giving you time everything <sighs> my mind was freaking blown i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all on my looking for my phone y'all i'm so proud of it it looks so busy and it looks like a lot but it is what it is so like for instance yesterday because i wanted to redo my house and make everything organized i decided to make basically yesterday like a cleaning day and shopping to get everything ready for today sunday all right so oh and also if you want to know how i was able to figure out how i want to do my schedule is by creating your categories which is your goals your all your short-term goals or long-term goals whatever you want to call it all of those are the big categories and underneath the categories you're going to put your subcategories and your subcategories are going to consist of the actions for each goal okay and with those actions this is where this is like the bulk of your list or your to-do list because you can take certain things from each subcategory and then write it down on a timeline and that's how you're going to be able to achieve every single goal day by day until you get to the bigger categories which is the overall objective that's how i was able to figure out my timeline or my list so when i did the time stamps i also made sure i did like five minute intervals between each one so for instance if i wake up at like 7 a.m and i want to pray i would so you know when you wake up like for me i put contacts and i brush my teeth and whatnot let's say i get done at 7 10 instead of starting the next task at 7:10, give yourself a five minute interval and start at 7:15. so again if you get done with something at 7:20, give yourself a five minute interval start the next thing at 7:25. it gives you some leeway it also allows you to relax in the different things that come right after okay so this is what my sunday consists of notice how i have time in there to relax my relax is 30 minutes, <laughs> but it allows you to just be productive and enjoy what you're doing, but know that Shade, you have something to look forward to. Again, I still have a big thing for y'all to like tell you on how we can still get to where we want to be because some you, you still need like, you need something from this. You'll, you'll see what I mean. So like, I'll just put it on the screen but you still need something from this right you need an incentive and what I came up with is Shade if you stick to achieving or if you stick to your list for the entire week I'm going to reward you take it back to like when we were kids like I said right put everything on the timestamp but at the end of the week you have something to look forward to because you should reward yourself for doing like doing good you should reward yourself for being consistent and just sticking to it you know what I mean people love like for instance I watched this video where um, like with people that are very successful once they reach certain milestones, it becomes like that driven force to push them to the next level, to keep them going. Every milestone or every chapter, depending on what it is, can propel you and give you the momentum to keep going. Since I feel like that might also be something that can contribute to me achieving my goals why not do it why not create that for myself so i can stay consistent like for instance youtube because i'm so self-critical about what i want to post how i want it to look that i'm not doing anything so this is what i mean by creating that incentive so think about all the things that you either want to do or you should be doing for yourself think about all the things that 
would make you happy or just how you can reward yourself put it in a bucket you can have like 30 to 50 items it really doesn't matter but put it in a bucket and at the end of the week if you can like if you complete your entire task list draw something from this little bucket um and do that for yourself you could pick whichever day out the week you want to implement it but do that for yourself so you can feel some form of accomplishment i am so excited to do this so i'm going to show you guys what i mean by doing that i know this is a lot of information i'm just giving it to you all in a bunch but man so if you want to know kind of what to put in this little goodie bag something i would put in there like maybe like five things i could put in there let's say i put in a salon trip because i want to get my natural hair done i want to see how long it is in a way i haven't done it yet but i kind of want to see how long my hair is but also feel like i need to trim like y'all my hair's to the middle of my back yeah i'm still making my own hair products like y'all my hair looks amazing but i don't know if it's all healthy and i feel like the only way to know if it is is by straightening it so i will put salon in there salon visit all of these things don't have to cost money either but some of the things that i would put in there cost money massages i love massages facials i love facials um buying a new wig getting myself the new iphone 13 like it could literally be anything shoot even just ice cream like just little stuff here and there or just watch um you get to watch a free movie or stay up past your bedtime whatever you want it to be like it can be anything but put this all in the goodie bag once you draw it out that's your treat or that's your prize for the week and then put it back in so y'all Monday is the start of this new like method and we're gonna see how it works and so excited y'all next video I'm really excited about because I didn't know if I should give it a try I felt like I didn't need it but let's see if it's really beneficial you should be able to see your goals all the time and I think it's time we give that a try let me know with some of your tips and tricks on what helps you guys to reach your goals what's stopping you from being consistent but i'm gonna let you know keep you updated on how it's working out for me and make sure you hit that subscribe button to get the newest and latest updates make sure you ring that bell to get the alerts and all we need to do is learn how to master consistency that is the root that is the start that is the foundation is consistency and we're gonna figure this out we're gonna do this together and i really hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you guys in my next video